Here's a selection of tools that will help you with your re-trim kit for your discovery. A nice sharp standing knife, homemade hook which we'll go into later, a pair of pliers, small hammer, two brattles, a nice set of sharp side cutters, screwdriver, four mil drill, another homemade hook, electric drill. You will need this for pulling your new diaphragm on should you need to renew it. If the, if the old one is good, you won't need to use it. Right, when re-trimming your seats, if you need a new diaphragm, Exmoor Trim can supply this, and a new seat base foam, which quite often you'll need because the other will have broken down, crumbled, split, and is worth renewing for comfort as well. First thing we need to do is release the J-clip, the back J-clip for the seat base and the front, round on the radiuses, and there's some just under the runners. It's a little bit awkward, but not too bad to do. Get a braddle. If you haven't got a braddle, a screwdriver will do. So all we do is we, under the end of the J-clip, peel back, and that should pop off on the rear one. Okay. Same again on the front, just to release it. Sometimes they're quite tight. Release that and then do the radius ones by popping your finger under and clicking them off. Next ones to release are the side ones. Now the easiest way to do that is have the seat on the bench as shown, get your fingers under and pull and twist and they will pop out. If you find them extremely tight, I suggest you use a screwdriver just to start the end off to lift it over the wire. You can see the, the two wires there, it's the inner one you want because that clips onto the inner one just to release the end and pull, and you'll find it a little bit easier. Both hands behind, and give a nice sharp pull, and it should come off. Same again with the top one. Next thing to do is just release the little clips that are on the back of the seat. It's the actual side border to the seat where it meets the back mechanism. Use it, I use a braddle, find it easier, just to wiggle it underneath. Be careful you don't poke yourself, leave that off and pull that out the way. Turn your seat up the right way and remove the whole base cover and foam. Right, we'll take the cover off the base foam now and the way to do this is just to the corner of the seat, just peel the cover back, turn round, peel back and turn over. So just lift the plastic, push the foam away with your fingers and turn on end. We do the same on all three. Do the side ones first. All right, here we have a replacement Exmoor trim sheet base foam. Um, you'll notice that these are not bonded on the edges here and I'll show you why in a minute. All the way around and the same on the front. Okay, I'll turn him over. Now we're going to put the new cover on our new base foam. Turn your cover inside out so that we can get at the new retaining clips. Okay, two sides, one front. You can hold your strip, move the cover up so that the stitch line is roughly where the split is because we don't want to pull too much. Turn it on its side and feed it in. Just carefully do that. Feed it through. That's it. Turn the whole complete thing over so we can get at the plastic strip. Peel that part back. Fingers under the edge of the strip and just lift over the edge of the foam. That's now held in place and that will sit under that one. We do the same again on both sides. The reason we put a little bit of silicon on is it just helps the cover slide over. You slide over the edge, go to the opposite corner, front, taking care you get this salvage so it sits nice so it doesn't look all puckered when the cover's on. Over, just roll it over, don't try and pull it over, you'll rip the material. Into place, there we are, on that. Come back and finish the other side now. Right, next thing we're going to do is release the back cover. So to do this, there's plastic clips underneath. So I use a 
bladed screwdriver just to pop them out. We won't use these again, so you don't have to save them. Okay, pull them out of the way, and that. On the back of the seat, there's a piece of J-clip that's hidden inside by the back cover. So you've released your back cover, you want to release the bottom piece, J-clip. Again, using your barrel, just lift it off and pop it up. Tuck this bit through to the front that you've just released, the back piece. And then start easing your cover off both sides. You can see how much we've gone up there, up to the handle there. So again, over to there. You'll have to do the cover in stages because once you've done a small piece, we'll have to release some hog rings, which if you put it on its back now, the first row are there. And there's a wire that runs through the cover and a wire that's bonded in the foam. So we need to cut these hog rings off. So just snip through them. Okay, when, when you cut the hog rings off the wire and it pings off in all directions, make sure you take all the little bits out because you don't want these poking through your new cover. Now we can peel the cover up a little bit more, taking care on the side to lift that over that handle. Okay. And there's a set of hog rings on the back. Again, there's the front. Cut the hog rings off. Little tags here. If, I, if you just pull, they'll just come off. And they're normally fixed to the frame. We don't need these, we don't use them. Same both sides, and they're off. And pull the cover up a little bit more now. Right. Right, on your seat back, you will see one either side, two bungee cords. These are held with the hooks on two little clips down the bottom. Release these by pulling them out the hook and leaving that there. You'll need these for the new covers. Same on this side. Release the bungee cord, pull it down. We can now pull the cover up slightly further. The bungee cord sits through a loop in the material. So just pull the loop apart, bungee cord inside, and hopefully it will feed itself through. Same on both sides. To make it easier, as you're replacing the cover, if you use a pair of scissors or your sanding knife, just make a cut in there so it helps it go up the headrest side pieces a lot easier. Same both sides, and you can just pull the cover up. Turn the seat back over, and we need to do one more row of hog rings on the top bar. Taking care, again, to get all the pieces out. Right, from the top of the foam, measure down 30 mil. Mark the foam using a marker, and just make it 30 mil along because you're going to have to cut that now. We need to expose these little clips because this is what holds the headrest in. There's only one on each stalk on the back. The outside ones don't have them. So the way to release them is get a slotted blade screwdriver and pull the clips out. Don't lose them. You need to put them back in if you reach them. Once the clips out, same both sides. You can put your little clips to one side for a moment. Get your cover back, hold the headrest and give a nice tug and that should come out. You can see now why we don't cut right to the edge. There's your two centre pins that go through the headrest and that's just coming past the housing that holds these two pins. It's, it's far enough to expose the clips that we've just taken out. Right, last piece to take off is the top of the back cover and it's on your two headrest locating channels if you like. So just all you've got to do is pull it off and it will come over the lip and that's the cover off. Next thing to do is put the little clips you took out back in place. When the, you put the tabs back in, you should also make note of which way you take the tabs out so that you put them in the same way as it's quite important. Now we're going to glue the foam back together. So we use a contact adhesive or spray adhesive, or if you haven't got access to any of those, a nice bit of two inch wide tape will do the job just as well. 